Hello again. Hello again. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for uh, accepting this meeting with me. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, so uh, we we have we have a couple of slots in the upcoming uh, calendar we've got to deal with, and um, we need some children's movies stat and. As you well yeah. know, children will watch anything. If it's if it's got like a noun, an animal, and a type of activity, you know, kids will kids will eat it up. So we need we need some movie ideas. What have we got? Throw some dots at the dartboard. Tell me what we got. Okay, okay. So we'll we'll throw throw uh, the first dart at the uh, the animal board. Okay, that's a that's a pangolin. Pangolin, that, that that we can that we can we can sell that. It sounds kind of like penguin. If we put it out at Christmas, the kids will get confused and they'll go see it. Aroused. Um. What is that even doing on the board? Yeah, Someone what is? Take that down. What is that doing on the board? Um. So what we'll, if we'll, we'll do this again? Enthusiastic. Okay, enthusiasm is good. We can be enthusiastic about the pangolin being enthusiastic, and then make the kids enthusiastic for the pangolin. And enthusiasm is good. Enthusiasm yeah. is a word I like in the boardroom. Now, okay. what is the pangolin gonna be doing? Let's throw dart number three. Going to medical school. Okay. Um, it's a musical. Just uh, hang on. It's a it's a, a musical. Uh, uh, you, you got a runny school. nose over there, other uh, movie executive. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, real runny nose. Just gonna get sniff up all take that. Take this special uh, that medication stuff. for okay. uh, you know that's, that's for good. my so board meetings. Pangolin, pangolin, pangolin is pangolin musical. Is, it's a musical. It's gonna be the greatest musical. Pangolin uh, in 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 the medical school. So I'm yeah. pangolin and I'm going to medical school. I'm gonna go learn lots of things. See, it All writes itself. It writes itself. It really, really does. It really does. So, so who's who do we want for the pangolin? Uh, let's throw another dart at the dartboard. Jason Statham is the pangolin. <laughs> Jason Statham, Cockney can, pangolin. Can he sing? I don't know. Does he need to be able to sing? No, it's a children's musical. They'll eat it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, I, do, I think we need like maybe a sidekick or, or something. Uh, we, we're we're getting a lot more of that uh, awesome gay shit in 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 our shows recently. So um, maybe maybe some more maybe some more of the gay. Uh, okay. So the sidekick is going to be a gay cloud. A gay cloud. I don't know how oh, the cloud is gonna. Clouds. Oh no, I don't know how the cloud goes inside in the buildings, but I do know the the, the cloud can be connected to a rainbow at the end, and that's how you know it's a gay cloud. Okay, so we're not just going to characterize it like we all always do with a really camp voice on, on something. Oh, no, we're going to do that at the end as well, but like we'll, we'll just okay, throw, okay. We'll throw the, the rainbow in at the end so that all of the all of the LGBT people watching are like, oh, look, it's confer- it confirmation. It to me. I'll buy that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, like the it's... people who don't like gay stuff can still deny it. It's cool. Exactly. We're so... Good at marketing. Right, I just... now, lastly, this is a musical. Who's gonna do the soundtrack? Um, who's who's good recently? Uh, okay, let's throw the, throw the dart. Uh, Storm Large, what's she doing these days? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what if we have them co-write the uh, soundtrack with System of a Down? They, they can do children's songs, right? She's got the voice of an angel. They've... Are they back, even back together? What's, what's going on? I don't know, but them? their their words are confusing enough that kids kids won't have a clue what's going on, and that's great because it means they won't understand that it's a terrible, terrible film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't want them understanding that. We just want to sell like dolls and shit. Okay, right. Well, we got to get this into production this afternoon because it's got to be out next week. Got to hit okay. those sales numbers. Thank you. Let's get okay. this done. Let's start whipping the animators. Whip the animators! Hopefully your your runny nose clears up. So, uh, I've got plenty of medication here. Yeah. She don't lie, she don't lie, she don't lie. Boardrooms. <laughs> See, hey, hey. You join us here uh, on this bus, surrounded by uh, some of the absolute 
finest in, in, in the uh, Rhino Fetinitis uh, Olympics. Uh, we're just joining us over at the back of the bus, standing remotely there, standing remotely, and uh, we've we've got our first contestant, first contestant from uh, Wimbledon uh, coming up. Uh, they're going to be uh, attempting the uh, a long sneeze, and they're they're on the marking blocks now, <laughs> on the marking blocks, <laughs> and. Choo! Oh, caught in the hand. That's going to be really disappointing. Uh, really disappointing. Uh, oh. Terrible shame for the uh, Wimbledon local there. That, uh, uh, next, we have the uh, the five-minute spread. Contestants have five minutes to get as far away as possible from their initial starting location. We're just uh, popping down onto the track with uh, a few of the uh, bacteria. Uh, how how are you doing there? How are you doing? Are you ready to uh, spread as far as you can in the next five minutes? Oh, we feel miserable. Just how we like it. We're going to make everyone feel just like us. We've got plans to make them sneeze, to make them dribble, to make them cough. We're going to make them do everything we can to get ourselves miserably spread around. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and so uh, I will pass over to my uh, companion who will be commenting on the, this particular uh, five minute spread. Okay, so here we go. Uh, all of all of our contestants are unaware that they are ready and ready to go and they're off. All the germs are attempting to make their spread as far as they can. Uh, we have got some fantastic uh, coughing and sniffling going on. Uh, we have one child with a runny nose running down the aisles, just dripping snot everywhere. And the winner of the event is the person who decided to sneeze into the air vent and has blown their sneeze all across the entire vehicle. That's absolutely stunning. Once you, once you get into the air vents, there's really nothing nothing that can be done to stop you. You'll probably be spreading people with colds for uh, years to come, uh, probably even some kind of uh, nasty bacteria that'll get right up there and uh, possibly m mutate long before anyone can uh, stop them, and uh, that'll be uh, quite the contagion going on for some considerable time. Excellent work there. And uh, back to the studio. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, that was beautiful, that's what that was. Oh my god, did you hear? Oh, mate, what, 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 what am I meant to have heard? Because we play, like, video games and stuff, we're really violent now. Oh, did they decide we're violent now? Because cause, yeah. cause we play video games. Who, 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 yeah. who decides uh, that? I think, like, I think it was, like, the president of, like, some country said, like, we're... All the video games have made us all violent, oh. and now we're just violent. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't aware I was violent, but like, <sighs> I guess I gotta be now if the news says it. <coughs> uh, what, what am I meant to be doing that's violent? Um, should, should I like hit you or something? Um, I, I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, have some of that. Um. <sighs> Oh, oh like, yeah, feeling um, so. I guess oh, them video games making me feel so violent. Yeah, like, oh, uh, just, I don't know. Just, I guess we we play the games and we see like Is... all the horrifying things that happen, and I guess that makes us want to hurt stuff. I, I can't be honest. I've never wanted to hurt nothing, mate, unless it's hurting. My own feelings by not being your friend. Uh, Wait, are we not friends anymore? No, no, I'm saying if I wasn't your friend, that'd hurt my feelings. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I mean, like, I guess I hurt that pizza earlier. Oh, you proper hurt that pizza. Uh, maybe they got kind of maybe they pizza. got a point. You did destroy that pizza. Maybe, maybe that is violence. I mean... I maybe that's what they I mean. saw. I saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles eat a pizza in that that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighting they hit game. Stuff. They hit stuff, but they also ate a pizza, and we ate a pizza. 
So we're copying what we've seen in video games. And that means on now we're violent. Oh, we're gonna be violent now. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Uh, I bet you know. Yeah. You know what the solution is. You know what the solution is. If we don't want to be violent because of video games, we just don't stop playing Try. the video games. Because if we keep playing them, then we don't have time to be violent. That's that's the yeah. trick, isn't it? If if we just keep playing, we ain't we ain't being violent for no one, is we? Yeah. So. Or we just stop playing the violent games. No, 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 no. We keep playing video games all the time. We don't stop. That's that. I, I, there's the solution, though. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I'll order another pizza because if if I order pizza, yeah. if I order pizza, we don't have to go out for food. We can keep playing the games and we won't be violent. Okay. Uh, but this time. We make sure we have all the change, and we're careful down the back of the sofa, because you remember what happened last oh, time. Oh, we went way too far down the back of the sofa. Way too far <laughs> down the back of the sofa. <laughs> all right, fellas, so yes, where are we going? Uh, we're just uh, going up, up the M25 and then um, taking the third exit. I think. Up the M25 third exit. That ain't the problem. Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just fo- following the cards. Uh, look what's in the cards. Yes, third exit. Third exit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then where to from from here? Uh, then we take. Uh, let me let me let me look uh, up my my sleeve of scarves. Um, uh, you take two rights and then a left. Okay. It's uh, it's, it's two rights. Okay, so that's the th- third exit on this roundabout. Uh, uh, let me let me quickly consult uh, the the hat I have that definitely doesn't have a rabbit in the top of it. Um, okay, good. Uh, no, 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 the other way. Uh, you got to take the fourth one. Take the fourth one. Fourth, fourth exit. Okay. On oh, no, it, the second, e- the second one. Okay, I'm gonna need to go down here and turn back around. Uh, uh no, take a take a take a take a right. Uh, right, okay, uh, right, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, um, okay, this this should be Birmingham. We didn't howl. Hmm. This is, this is in no way Birmingham, my friend. <laughs> well, I suppose that's my problem, being a magician. I do specialise in misdirections. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, non-binary people of all descriptions, let's get ready to dance down here tonight at the 2018 Dance Festival. We're showing off all the latest moves, and hopefully you'll be trying all these out on the dance floor in a few weeks. For anyone that missed that, this is the 2018 Dance Championships, and we're going to be talking about all the new dance moves that everyone's going to be doing on the dance floor later this year. So, first up, contestant number one, what kind of dance move are they doing today? Well, it's, it's very simple, uh, very, very simple moves. Oh, yes, just a just a basic running man there. Oh, oh, and they've literally torn off their own leg and started spinning around, hopping, 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 reattached the leg somehow. Amazing. Well, this is a real commitment to that old kind of dance move that we were seeing in the 90s where people were sort of shaking their leg back and forth and hopping a little yeah, bit. Yeah. But now they just properly commit to the, 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 the act yeah. by ripping the leg off. Now, contestant yeah. number two is uh, appears to be doing some kind of spin upon their head. Um, mm, mm. They're spinning very, very fast, very fast. Oh, goodness, they've just turned themselves inside out. I can, Ooh, I can see all of their... Absolutely. Oh, you see all of their internal this. organs. I'm, I'm sure this will be all the rage on the dance floor come next month. Oh, I, I'm going to be trying it once I get home. <laughs> oh, goodness. What about contestant number three? What's contestant number three doing? Contestant number three is uh, doing a little bit of a jump and down into a splits and disappearing through the floor. It's, oh, on oh, the back. Uh, four-dimensional dancing. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh, goodness. And, and now they're dancing with themselves, possibly from uh, some kind of other dimension. It's, uh, that's really, really, really committing to the bit there. <laughs> oh, indeed. Oh, you've got to improve a, a dancer that can find their own dance partner at a moment's notice, and I think four dimensional mm. dancing is going to be all the rage now. I believe, all right. I believe we've got one more contestant still to come out. Uh, final contestant is going to have to really wow the judges if they want this to be the dance that takes off on, on all the dance floors this year. And um, mm. so they've they've started with a fairly standard ballroom dance, and um, Ooh, oh. oh my goodness, is that a summoning circle mm. to hell? 
Oh, goodness. My goodness. They have danced their way through a summoning circle and summoned an ancient hell demon to dance alongside them. I must lead. No, oh, God, you're stepping on my toes. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still perfecting this particular dance move. I am a necromancer or a dancer. What's wrong with you? Well, it seems like that dance move is a little too early for the uh, for the the, the oh, out, outer stages, and those dancers are still yeah. still trying to perfect it. But I'm sure in 2019's competition, we will see dancing yeah. in a yeah. circle in order to summon a dark demon to dance alongside you will be oh, all the rage. Absolutely, absolutely. I hope to see much more of this. Anyway, this is me, Algebra Jonathan Poshman, and 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 you, and, and me, Dancing with Dancington. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, Phil. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, welcome to Homeopathic McDonald's. How can I help you? Homeopathic McDonald's. I I thought this was just McDonald's. No, this is homeopathic McDonald's. It's all all the uh, general nutrition and fillingness that you would get from a normal McDonald's, but it's homeopathic, so it's better for you. So I I assume you've got the same you've got the same menu, so I can just get a a Big Mac. Yeah, one Big Mac. Do you want fries with that? Uh yeah, I'll get fries with that, and um, oh. maybe a Coke as well. And a Coke. Do you want to go large for an extra thirty p? Uh yeah, sure. That sounds great. Can I interest you in an apple pie? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Here you go. This is... a tiny bottle of water. It's it's a homeopathic large Big Mac meal. It's, like, having super diluted. Like, there was, like, a crumb from a Big Mac that we got, like, a few weeks ago. It's been floating in a swimming pool full of water that we just... Scoop some out of if anyone wants some of the, the homeopathic Big Mac. And then, like, there's some a little bit that was on a fry, a little bit of salt, and then, of course, the Coca-Cola. So, are you, are you honestly trying to tell me that this is the same as actually having a Big Mac? It's the same as having a Big Mac. It's very good for you. It's, it's like, so good and so filling you wouldn't believe... And of course, if you don't believe, then it probably won't work. So you have to make sure you really believe in the Big Mac. Wait, why is belief in the Big Mac a factor in whether the Big Mac works? I don't know. I just work here for less than minimum wage. But Apparently it's homeopathic wages they pay me. (laughs) Okay, fine, you can keep your container of water. I'm gone. Have a good homeopathic day. Have a good homeopathic day. All right, how's it going? Oh, it's going, it's going so good. Do you hear what kind yeah. of night I had last night? I don't know what what kind of night you have, yeah. Oh, oh, you know, you know, well, I'm like a potato and that. Yeah, I, like proper potato. Proper potato. Well, I got proper mashed last night. Me, hey, that's amazing, oh. mate. Get, uh, you know, sometimes I like to get a bit boiled before I go out. Oh, I got get... so boiled in it. Oh, it's just so yeah. boiled. Oh, 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 bro, was I telling you about the other night? The other night. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Oh, I was served well al dente. Al dente. Al dente. It was nice. did, wild. Did you hear about what happened to, to, to uh, that, that broccoli the other day? Oh, what happened to the broccoli? pan fry. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you know what I happened to... It, yeah. You know what happened to, uh, to um, Mighty Tomato? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it got well sliced up, in it? Oh, well it sliced up. Proper right on night it was having. Proper, yeah, nice, nice, like, yeah, like, served on a bed of lettuce, oh, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, just getting, like, laid out on, just laid out on that plate, ready, right, ready, because yeah. just, oh, it's so good. Look, I, 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 I gotta go, I'm, I'm about to be served up, but just, nice, just, nice. just, no, I'm, well, I'm still proper mashed. <laughs>